As she graduated from Petaluma High School in California, valedictorian Lou Ablesites took the stage to deliver a speech. But as soon as she attempted to speak out about sexual assault, her microphone was cut off, the Press Democrat reports, because the class of 2018 has demonstrated time and time again that we may be a new generation, but we are not too young to speak up, to dream and to create change. Which is why, even when some people on this campus, those same people, she said, before her microphone was cut. Then, she stepped to the side of the podium and kept talking, as some classmates chanted, let her speak. Advertisement, continue writing below it turns out she had gone off script from her previously approved speech, and that's why her microphone was cut off. According to the Press Democrat, the school administration warned speakers that their mics could be cut if they didn't stick to their approved speeches. Students had to submit their speeches in advance, and practice them in front of a panel. The school's principal told the newspaper they received several emails warning them that Sites was planning on giving a different speech. Before her microphone was cut off, Sites was about to say, and even learning on a campus in which some people defend perpetrators of sexual assault and silence their victims, we didn't let that drag us down, Sites told CNN she had been sexually assaulted on her school's campus by someone she knew, but argues her school didn't take appropriate action despite her formal complaint. She also said her school told her not to talk about the alleged assault in her speech. They just told me to not talk about it, because it wouldn't help, she told the network. In a statement to CBS SF Bay Area, the school district said they could not comment on Sites' allegation because of privacy reasons. Due to student privacy issues, we cannot and should not respond with specific information, the statement read. We can say that when issues of sexual assault come to our attention, local law enforcement has initial jurisdiction and determines the course of action, school principal David Sturt told the Washington Post that they would have considered Sites's intended speech had she submitted it originally. In Lou Label's case, her approved speech didn't include any reference to an assault, he told the newspaper. We certainly would have considered such an addition, provided no individuals were named or defamed. Sites told the Post that she never was going to name anyone. Advertisement, continue reading below Sites, 17, is headed to Stanford University in the fall, where she will study economics and applied math. And she posted her full, uncensored, speech on YouTube, where it has received more than 300,000 views. Mira Sorvino, who has accused Harvey Weinstein of sexual misconduct, and former Texas State Senator Wendy Davis spoke up on Twitter to support her, Lou Label Sites is a fierce truth-teller and they tried to silence her don't you understand sexual assault victims will be silenced no more? High school valedictorian says speech was cut off when she began to talk about sexual assault https colon slash slash t dot co slash 3 dx wng tune Mira Sorvino at Mira Sorvino, June 9, 2018, let her speak often a necessary refrain when women speak truth to power. I have a feeling we'll be hearing a good deal more from Lou Label sites as the future unfolds for this extraordinary young woman.